Welcome back. A Somalian woman's been sentenced to nine years jail in New Zealand's first plane hijacking case. Armed with knives, Asha Abdili tried to take control of a flight from Blenheim to Christchurch two and a half years ago. She slashed both pilots and a passenger. Laurelie Mason was at the High Court in Christchurch. She caused terror in the skies, threatening those on board with knives, telling them she had a bomb and was going to kill them all. All because her lawyer told the court she had to escape. I didn't want to harm anyone or kill anyone. I just wanted to get out of the country and go to Australia. On board, she drew a knife and injured both pilots, trying to take control of the instruments before they managed to land the plane and overwhelm her. Ms Dilly, you are convicted of the charge of hijacking and sentenced to a term of imprisonment of nine years. A term police say is fair. Hopefully it'll bring some closure to the, the eight victims who've been suffering for, well, over two and a half years now. Some of them still too traumatised to deliver victim impact statements. The victims speak of an overwhelming sense of helplessness, fear of flying, nightmares, stress. But the hijacker's own statement read out in court showed she was a victim too, from a violent childhood in war-torn Somalia, watching family members shot and hacked to death in front of her before being given refugee status by authorities here in 1996. Your history of flight and resettlement is among the most tragic uh, they had ever seen. The court heard Asha Abdili's struggle to settle here and suffers from post-traumatic stress syndrome and a raft of other mental health issues. She believes the police and immigration officials have been out to get her and that the government brought her here on false pretenses, apparently trying to sell her off to a rich man. I think Ms Abdili has some issues that she needs to resolve. Those who know her agree. I hope she gets the help she needs. The judge has ordered a minimum non-parole period of six years. Laurelie Mason, One News.